And now if you wanted to mirror the entire building, um, rather than just a few objects, what you have to do is get into a 3D view and actually select all the objects. So you can select the objects from different um, plan views if you want, but you have to be careful when you select objects, don't select any annotation objects. So you could go in here and grab all of these and filter and clear all of these and only say the floors and the stairs and the walls and the windows. And once you click on there, then when you go to your your 3D, your default 3D view, you'll see those objects and you can keep them there and then you can go to here and you can use a control button to select more objects etc but it can be cumbersome so one of the ways if you want to do a lot of objects in 3D is to go to a 3D view now if you only wanted a few objects or a top half for some strange reason you could go in here and kind of do this and grab a selection set like that right shift middle mouse button to swivel around but I want the whole building so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a big crossing box like this okay and then I'm going to use my shift key and remove this and then I'll use my shift and middle mouse to swivel around all I have else here is this tree so I'll use a shift to remove that now once I have all those model objects selected okay then what I can do is go down to say a first level they're all still selected and then from there I can go up and use my mirror by um, drawing or picking axis and then I can pick on here click and it's going to mirror that entire set of building over and that's why it's taking a, a second or two to regenerate click out go back to my 3d view and now I've got my twin towers sitting there right there so uh, mirroring uh, a lot of objects in 3d is also not a problem